Meghan speaks out in rallying our speech before leaving UK details revealed. Meghan have had her final visit to the UK before stepping down as a working member of the royal family. To deliver a passionate message of equality during International Women's Day, Meghan undertook one of her final engagements as a working royal on International Women's Day on 8 March, 2020. The Duchess of Sussex visited pupils at Robert Clack Upper School in Dagenham, sharing a passionate message urging students to speak up for what is right. Meghan has long been an outspoken advocate for gender equality and the right of young girls to education. Addressing a 700-strong assembly, the Duchess of Sussex said, When we thought about what I wanted to do for International Women's Day this year, for me it was incredibly important to be with the women of our future. And that is all of the young women here, as well as the young men who play a very large part in this. Specifically coming to your school made a lot of sense for me because of this social justice and the impact that it's rooted in. She continued, no matter how small you might feel, how low you may feel on the ladder or the totem pole. No matter of what color you are, no matter of what gender you are you have a voice, and you certainly have the right to speak up for what is right. What's really key for all of you to remember, is especially looking at the people who paved the way for you. To get to this point in your lives to be able to have the access that you do it's not just an opportunity to continue that, it's a responsibility. She renewed her appeal in a heartfelt letter to the student in 2021, urging them to keep on celebrating trailblazing women going forward. Megan wrote, We are encouraging everybody to participate in real acts of compassion for the women in their lives and their community. One suggestion we have is to take a moment to learn about the trailblazing women who came before us. By knowing and appreciating legacy, we can and you can find inspiration to create a legacy. All of you, the young women and young men here today, will continue paving the way for a better and more compassionate future. Megan added, last year, I told you that your voices have the ability to change the world. I hope that you are continuing to make your voices heard. Since stepping down alongside Prince Harry in March 2020, Meghan has reiterated her commitment to helping women reach their full potential. As part of her 40th birthday celebrations, the Duchess launched a 40x40 initiative, in which she asked 40 of her friends to dedicate 40 minutes of their time to women seeking to re-enter the workplace. And she has been vocally supportive of the paid leave equality campaign, lobbying U.S. senators to make family leave compulsory. The Duchess of Sussex dismissed the suggestion she had been using her titles for political reasons, describing the campaign as dealing with humanitarian issues. During her visit to Robert Clack School in East London, Meghan took to the stage to make a speech in honor of International Women's Day. In the speech, which included a short appearance from one of the school's students, Meghan reflected on the future of equality across the world, urging the school's young men to support the women in their lives. It is such an honor for me to be here today, she told the students. When we thought about what I wanted to do for International Women's Day this year. For me, it was incredibly important to be with the women of our future. And that is all of you young women here, as well as you, the young men, who play a very large part in this. Reflecting on the history of Dagenham, where the school is located, Megan took the chance to honor the sewing machinists who went on strike there in the 1960s a move which led to the landmark Equal Pay Act. I think specifically coming to your school made a lot of sense for me because of this social justice and the impact that it's rooted in, she said. Being in Dagenham is incredibly profound. Geraldine and the other women had the strength to really stand up for something that needed to be done. She continued, it is the best example of no matter how small you might feel, how low you may feel on the ladder or the totem pole. No matter of what color you are, no matter of what gender you are, you have a voice and you certainly have the right to speak up for what is right. In many societies it doesn't matter where you are, it's very easy to sometimes compartmentalize or silo this idea of International Women's Day solely being about women. But it's not, it's about all of us, she said. Continue to value and appreciate the women in your lives, and also set the example for some men who are not seeing it that same way. You have your mothers, sisters, girlfriends, friends and your life protect them. Make sure that they are feeling valued and safe. Let's all rally together to make International Women's Day something. That is not just on Sunday, but, frankly, feels like every day of the year.
Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos. Thank you very much.